In this video, I'll show you how to use the Clio Finance Manual Backtester to significantly improve the way you test and understand your trading strategies. With proper backtesting, you'll have enough data to know what the probability of your setup is at any given day or hour, what win rate or how long of losing streak you can expect, and much more. So let's get to it! To open the Manual Backtester, click on the Backtesting button in the menu and select Manual Backtester. We call it Manual Backtester because Clio Finance also offers backtesting for automated trading strategies, where you can create your own fully customizable trading bot in plain English, see full statistics in a few seconds, and deploy the bot live to your exchange if you want to. And by the way, every tier has access to both backtesting options, and both can be tested even for free. Ok, let's head back to the Manual Backtester. In this first page, we are defining the core information about our project, such as the name and description, initial balance, and what asset we want to backtest on. Clio Finance correctly offers about 200 cryptocurrencies, 600 US stocks, 250 US indices, and about 15 forex pairs, and we're expanding the datasets as we speak. Each asset shows its symbol, description, source, and data type, but most importantly, focus on the date range and timeframes available. The date range indicates how much data we have for each of the listed timeframes. In this example, we have data on EURUSD starting from mid-January 2012 until today for 1 minute timeframe and above, providing around 12 years of data to work with. On the next page, we define more nuanced strategy properties. An order fill mode is supposed to simulate slippage. Basic order fill mode means you'll be testing your strategy in a vacuum, seeing if it has any edge at all and no slippage will be applied. Realistic order fill mode is an oversimplification of what could happen when you trade on OKEX or Binance exchanges and you have the option to set fully customized slippage in either percentages or dollar values for every filled order. Transaction costs allow you to simulate spreads and or commissions your broker or exchange charge. And it works the same way as order fill mode. Basic means no cost applied. Realistic should reflect standard crypto exchange settings and custom trading cost lets you set your own spreads, commissions or both in dollar amount or percentages. And last but not least, you can pick where you'd like to start your backtesting project. The options are pretty self-explanatory, but it's worth noting that selecting first day means you will have only one candle in the chart and might want to quote-unquote burn some data to have enough candles to draw your levels or calculate indicators if you use them. Just let the player go for a bit until you have enough data to start executing your trades. Last day, on the other hand, loads all the market data immediately and you can skip back in time to whatever point you want by yourself. This obviously exposes you to the look ahead bias, but you do have this choice if you want it. Alright, now we're happy, let's create our first backtesting project. The Clio Finance trading platform has familiar look and feel. On the left side, you'll find a drawing panel where you can draw your trend lines, squares, Fibonacci retracements and much more. You can turn on and off the magnet function on click or pressing Ctrl or Windows or Command on Mac. In the top panel, you'll find two layers. First layer shows the current and available balance, name of the project and has the save button. To get statistically significant results, you want to have at least 30 and ideally over 100 trades. And that can take a while, perhaps more than just one session. With Clio, you can save your progress and come back to your project anytime and pick up right where you left off. The charting top panel shows all available timeframes. You can add indicators to the chart and customize the way the chart looks. On the right side, you'll find all actionable panels. The order panel, position defaults, checklist and position checklist. In order panel, you create and edit positions. Start by clicking long or short at the top. Next, you want to figure out three things. Position size, where to place your targets and where to place your stops. Once you fulfill all conditions, the buy or sell button at the bottom of this page will light up, letting you know that the position is now ready to be opened. The only thing the position needs to be opened is the position size. You can open without take profits or stop losses and close the position manually whenever you feel like it. But calculating correct position size is such an unnecessary struggle. To fix it, we've added the second panel, position defaults. Here you can very simply set how much of your balance you want to risk on any trade and based on that, the position size will be calculated. And if you select initial balance, risk on every position will be the same. 
So for those that want to risk say $100 on trade no matter what, this is the option for you. While selecting current balance option will reflect the changes in your balance from trade to trade. Take profit settings allows you to automatically place targets at certain risk multiplier. The next feature is strategy checklist. Here you can create the checklist for your backtest so you can make sure you're opening only positions that fulfill your criteria. In the checklist you can create two levels of conditions, a category and a step. You can add as many categories and as many steps you want, but to achieve fulfillment of the checklist all categories must be marked as fulfilled. So if you have for example some optional settings or nice to have qualifying conditions for your trades, add those to the steps and edit the check count. If you want to have a fully optional category, you can simply bypass this by for example naming the category optional and having first step saying check me and in all the other steps everything you want to track as optional while category check count is set to only one. Oh and also you can include things that happen after the close for example information about the way you exited a position or how you felt at the exit of position because you can edit this checklist even when the position is already closed. And that's what the fourth panel, Position Checklist, is for. The final panel is disabled unless you are viewing or editing a position. Simply click on the little pen at the top, edit the checklist and click Save when you're done. Both of these features, Position Defaults and Strategy Rules Checklist, can be attached to every individual position, but they behave differently. While Position Defaults is active by default and is turned off only by manual action such as moving the take profit or changing the position size, the checklist must be added to each position manually. You can activate both features by clicking on the icons within the order panel here. If you edited take profit or anything about the position and you'd like to snap it back to its original state, clicking the Position Defaults icon will do that for you. Strategy rules icon will toggle on the checklist for the current position in editing mode. It selects the long or short strategy automatically based on the direction of your position. You can show or hide any of these panels by clicking the blue active icon on the right hand side. And finally, at the bottom panel we find backtesting player settings. Here we have the start and stop playback button. You can select speed of the player or use buttons allowing you to skip forwards or backwards one candle at a time. Two additional buttons are here, skip to the end button which skips to the last day and therefore reveals all available data and cut back button. This will allow you to go back to any previous data point and hide everything that happened afterwards but be careful this button will not only hide charts but will also remove the positions created or now hidden candles. In the hideable panel below you'll see a list of all open and closed positions, balance chart and detailed back to statistics. Clear Finance also provides a whole lot of data per position. In Position tab you can find this drop down arrow that reveals 4 sections, each providing more data for you to analyze individual positions if you choose to do so. In Statistics tab you'll find many useful data points that help you review your strategy such as the profit factor, min rate, sharp and sortino ratios, but also more detailed data such as what day or hour your strategy performed best or worst what winning or losing streak you can expect, checklist usage and benefits of sticking to your checklist as well as distribution of your trades in terms of risk to reward ratio. Okay, now that we know the platform, all we need to do is to wait for conditions to be just right so we can place our first position. Here we go, this seems to tick all the boxes, let's open the position and see. You can create multiple stop loss or take profit orders. If you choose to do so, you'll have to edit one more thing and that is defining what percentage of your total position this protection level should close. If you have 4 take profit levels for example, maybe on the first one you want to trim 40% of your position and the remaining 3 should close 20% of the position each. You can set it here and understand the overall position risk to reward ratio even before you place the trade. You can also click the split even button which will divide the position size evenly across all protection levels. And if you really want to get into the nitty gritty of customization every position, you can click on position size, take profit or stop loss settings here in the order panel and you can pick a different way to defining it. But I want to use my default settings so I can click the position defaults icon again and my protections levels snap back to the original state. I have to toggle the checklist manually and start going through the list. 
And if I'm happy with the whole settings, press this big green buy button and position is opened. Now I can let the chart play or move it candle by candle, watch for my take profit or stop loss orders to be hit. Or if you didn't set any protections, you can close the position manually from here or here. These yellowish lines are the slippage and transaction cost that we set in our backtesting settings. We can even see it singled out in the positions PL breakdown here. In details and in statistics, you can see project wise transaction costs. And that's it! Keep repeating this process until you have enough positions to draw actionable conclusions about the strategy or you run out of data. Don't forget to save your progress periodically and make sure you let us know what you think of the Clear Finance Manual Backtester. In upcoming videos, we'll do a backtest of some popular strategies, showing you the full results and statistics, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. If you like this video, feed the YouTube algorithm by liking and commenting on it. And thank you very much, I'll see you at the next video.